Welcome to my first in-depth video guide of the channel. Hope you're all doing well during this time with the lockdown and everything going on with COVID-19. Hope you're all safe and healthy and everything. Now, MR is a way of tracking how many content that you have experienced in Warframe. You can gain MR by leveling up your Warframe weapons, archerings and companions. You can also complete all the star charts as well as complete all your junctions to earn sweet XP. Now let's say you want to gain XP fast so that you can get your MR or mass rank faster. There are a lot of ways you can do this in the game. First thing I would like to state is the higher the level of the enemies, the more XP you gain from killing them. I would recommend to have only one weapon equipped in your loader so the affinity doesn't get shared between other weapons, which means you will only uh, level that weapon so you don't get shared XP on other weapons. So you will level that weapon faster. You can use any Warframe you want. I would recommend using a max Warframe so you can get the most XP out of your weapon. Then there is something you get what is called Shared Affinity. Now this is when you play with other players and if they kill enemies you get Shared XP from them. So it is always good to play with other players while you're leveling weapons and frames. I know you maybe want to do a solo or something but when you level your weapons I would highly recommend playing with others because you get Shared XP from them. You can do spy missions to gain Affinity fast but you must not be detected at all. This can be a nuisance especially if you're new to Warframe. Now I wouldn't recommend this to new players but maybe if you're advanced and you have a good Warframe like Loki, Ash, anyone that Octavia, anyone that can go invisible and you have a lot of duration on them. Uh, for new players I would prefer Dark Sector missions. So this, every Dark Sector mission gives you a different buff. It gives you like bonus to certain type of weapons. Now I would Highly recommend this for new players. And you can also get extra resources by doing Dark Sector missions, which is always a plus because you always need resources to build new weapons and warframes. You can find Dark Sectors on almost every planet. It is displayed by this icon. Now for more advanced players, I would say do the mission on Sedna that is called Hydron because this has been the best place to farm for XP for years and might change soon as Warframe are bringing hard mode and ultra mode into the play which means you will be able to deliver weapons and frames faster so by this you have to unlock Sedna the planet this is the fastest way that is not irritating like spy missions because if you fail it once or have protected once you don't get a lot of XP some weapons and frames are locked behind your MR so this means that you need to be a certain MR to get the weapon or frame or any other equipment in the game MR test is the test you have to take after you have enough XP to go to the next MR and every test is unique in its own way. You get tr 3 chances to complete your MR test and you can only do MR test every 24 hours. So this means if you failed your MR test you will only be able to do the test again after 24 hours. This goes the same for if you pass the test and got XP to the next MR you will have to wait for 24 hours before, can, before you can do your next MR test. I would like to advise you to first train your MR test before you try to complete it. You can do this by going to any relay and then going to Cephalon Samara's room. There you can have a look at all the MR tests so that you can practice it before trying to complete it. You can also do your previous MR test at Cephalon Samara's and as well as the one for the next level. Now this is good because you have to know what your MR test is going to be about before you do it otherwise you will fail maybe. The first MR tests aren't so bad. It's very easy and everything, but as you get higher on your MR, it will get harder and harder. So I would advise you to first practice it and then you do your MR test. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.